Hi folks, there's been a lot going on when it comes to COVID-19 here in Cobb County, when it comes to new variants, and when it comes to vaccinations. So to get answers, as always, I dodged snowflakes, headed out to Cobb and Douglas Public Health to talk to the director there, Dr. Janet Meemark, who says, well, there's a bright light uh, right now. It's the fact that cases are declining. Semi good news is that um, we seem to have a little bit of a slowing of cases um, that have come off of the holidays. And so um, cases are still over 50,000. But um, when you look at that um, PCR case rate, we have um, 628 cases per 100,000. If you add in those antigens, we're at um, 869 cases per 100,000. Now, you remember we were well over um, you know, 1,000, 1,100 for, for that. So it's come down significantly. Uh, you know, the lagging indicator is our number of deaths. And so we do have 701 deaths in Cobb County um, from COVID-19. And this surge has been the deadliest out of the, let's say, the three surges that we had. This one has been the worst. But we hope that that is slowing down as well. Um, we are seeing a decrease in hospitalizations. Uh, hospitals, um, thank goodness, are having some breathing room and they can feel it a little bit as well. Um, the number of hospitalizations have gone down as well as the people that are under investigation. So some overall, we are going in the right direction when it comes to cases from COVID-19. No doubt you have heard a lot about the variants of COVID-19 from the UK or from South Africa. And the UK variant at least has been spotted here in Cobb County, not yet for the South African variant, and they're still trying to figure out what that all means. You probably have heard about several of the main variants that are circulating. The main one is the UK variant that um, it, the last I checked, it was in over 28 um, states and, and it is kind of seen worldwide. And the other one is the South African variant. The last I'd heard was it was in South Carolina was where it was um, located. Now, the thing that's concerning, especially about the UK variant, is that it is uh, much more contagious than the, the um, strain that we have now from anywhere from 30 to 70 percent more um, contagious. There is a question though, it is more lethal. So it's um, it could be a little bit more lethal and the CDC is reviewing that right now. There's some data that they're taking a look at. Now, why this is important for us is because it is here. So Cobb County does have the UK variant um, that is in our community right now. Now, it, it takes several weeks for us to get these results back. They go to specialized labs to, to um, confirm that it is the variant. So um, it kind of reminds us back to when this whole thing started. Remember when it took a while to get um, Kate, the um, results back? Well, that's kind of what's happening with the, these variants. What's important to know, though, is the variants have no connection connection to anything that, um, it, you know, like travel or another case. Um, we have a suspicion that some of them are related, but, um, but we don't have confirmation that um, cases are related. We do have multiple cases that are in Cobb County at this point and are in indicating community transmission. So uh, the only thing that I can tell you is, one, it does appear that the vaccine will be effective against that variant. So that's one thing, at least the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. The other thing is, it's the same thing that we've been saying. All we can do is to try to prevent from getting this. So we have to continue to wear our masks and socially distance and not to gather. It's very, very important. We cannot have large gatherings. Um, it's great that we have come off of that holiday surge, but the reason why we had it was because people gathered together and that's why we lost as many lives as we did and have it, had as many hospitalizations. So please, we, uh, we cannot gather right now and we gotta um, try to get this vaccination out as much as we possibly can. South African variant has not been identified here in our um, state as of yet. And so, but you know, just like anything else, it's probably a matter of time. And so we got to um, get busy. The, um, there's some question about how effective the vaccines will be against the South African variant. I think they're studying that right now. So have you tried to get an appointment to get a COVID-19 vaccination. To say it's been a frustrating process may be an understatement. Right now, demand far outweighs the supply of the vaccine. And for the second week in a row, they will not be taking any new appointments here in Cobb County. So the supply of vaccines is very low right now. So our understanding right now is that um, we are kind of frozen in um, a vaccine allocation at this time. Um, it's anticipated that we may not see an uptick in um, vaccines until about March or April. 
model. And so um, right now, um, Cobb and Douglas Public Health, our two locations are focusing on the second vaccines for folks so we don't miss that 42-day window. But because we don't have a, a solid vaccine supply, we don't even have enough to do many first vaccines this week. And so we are on a day-by-day -day basis. You probably saw on our website, I know some people were looking for Friday after, um, evening that you would start looking for appointments. We didn't have enough vaccine to release any appointments at that time. And so we are trying to do what we have on schedule right now. And then as soon as we get more vaccine that's available to us, then we will release uh, more appointments. But I can't even tell you when that will be right now. We just really have to see what our allocation will be. A lot of people who have received a first dose are very concerned about whether they'll get their second dose of the vaccine and whether they'll get it on time. Well, Dr. Meemark says you should be notified by email. So if you got your second dose with us, um, we did have to, to move around some appointments because of that scheduling system. So you should have gotten, um, you will be getting a call about that second dose or an email. If you don't, please email us. You can go through our contact us page. We do look at that. If there's a second dose, if you're not sure when it is, we can pull it for you and call you back. Um, we did have to reschedule some of those first doses from last week. Um, those you should be getting by email. So please look out for your email and your spam or junk boxes or whoever email signed up your appointment. Um, if you did not get that, then you are okay to come on the appointment that was scheduled. If not, you can um, give us a ring and then we'll um, let you know when that appointment is. So again, Dr. Meemark does not see any increase in supply of the vaccine until the March, April timeframe. We've had a lot of people asking why we haven't done some of those mass vaccination efforts that you see on the news happening elsewhere. Simply do not have the supply just yet to do that. Although there are a lot of people lined up to give you a vaccine, your neighborhood store, for instance, when that supply gets here. Our um, Jim Miller Park folks, and those of you that have gotten vaccinated, have, I'm sure had an enjoyable experience when um, when everything was running smoothly over there. But we have geared up and we are gearing up our Douglas location to do almost 2,000 vaccines a day. And now we're being held down to you know less than 1,000 right now. It's because there's no vaccine. And so, uh, you know, we're all ready to go. Our community is ready to go. We have like three dozen um, providers that are ready to provide vaccine to provide thousands of vaccine but there just isn't any vaccine right now so we are we are mobilized and ready here in Cobb County to get this vaccine out as soon as there's vaccine that's ready we're not the only ones that are vaccinating we got a lot of great partners but everybody is ready to go to, to get those vaccines out so several of the chains are on this list the, all the Kroger's and Publix's we have um, independent I didn't realize how many independent pharmacies that we have here they're all signed up to go ahead and vaccinate as well as you know the Metro Ambulancers. We have so many great partners that are ready to go to vaccinate. And then on top of all of the, the different providers that we have, as well as Cobb and Douglas and um, private providers, pharmacies, they're ready to vaccinate. Even our health system, we're all working together to vaccinate as many folks as we can. On top of that, we're working on mass vaccination sites because we know it will get open to 1B and 1B is where it will add a whole lot of people. And so we're working with a lot of our major partners to do mass, large, large mass scale vaccination as well. And so we are ready to go as soon as we get some vaccine. Um, the mass vaccinations are in planning because we don't anticipate any vaccine for another few weeks at least.